Welcome, I'm Rob. You join me at Team Sport Sheffield for a Monday night grid 3 for 2 session. That's three 15 minute sessions to set as fast a lap time as possible. We've got 16 drivers on the first two sessions and only 13 on the final session. We're all members, so we shouldn't experience any major issues. And as we come into a red flag here, I'm pleased to say it is just for the compulsory flag tests. We've already had the yellows right at the start there. Hi, whilst we're under this red flag, I'd like to introduce a couple of new items of the merchandise. We've got a lovely Team Sport Leeds I Survived the Bridge of Death t-shirt. And if you've not been to Leeds, we've also got this Go Kart or Go Home t-shirt. Both of them are available now at robgoes.racing forward slash shop in a variety of colours. So those major issues I said we shouldn't experience, well, here's one of them. There were two members who were a little bit off the pace of the group. Normally, this wouldn't be an issue as you find a way past pretty easily. Unfortunately, these two ended up using all of the track and inadvertently defending against most moves. They are quick in a straight-ish line, but slow through the corners with some interesting lines. Whilst some drivers would be happy enough to stick their cart in a closing gap to force their way past, I'm not going to do that. Having said that, it doesn't mean that I won't go for a gap and get turned in on anyway. Worse still, their car is quicker up the ramps. It took me an entire lap, but I'm past this one. It's about an eight second gap to the next car, so I should get a couple of clear laps.
at least with the clear runs I've been able to break under the 59 second mark and have set a 58 second lap. It's time to introduce problem number two. No, it's not Kart 25 with a white helmet, but Kart 14 in front of him. This driver is quicker than the last one, but we have the same problem. They are defending hard without really meaning to. With the other two making contact and having a slow exit, I aim for a gap, only for it to be closed off. I kept my foot in low and made it through into turn two. At least this one didn't take me a full lap. We get interrupted with a red flag. This turns out to be quite a long one, almost as long as it took me to stop. Almost an entire minute later and we're released under the yellow flags. A minute feels like five when you are sat waiting for those flags to change. Thankfully, we do go to green before the start of the next lap. and we're straight back on the pace with my fastest lap of the session so far.
crossed the line for the final time of this session. I'm only 6th fastest, but I don't feel too disappointed with that, as I felt the car I had was struggling a little bit going up that ramp. Let's jump to session 2 then. So it's another 15 minutes with the same group. Hopefully I can now go a bit faster. Two laps in and I've caught up with one of the slow drivers, let's hope I can get past quicker this time. They've gone deep into turn two so I've hoped I can make it through on the inside, they've steered away from the barrier rather than staying straight and just bumped the side of my cart. Their cart seems a little quicker on the straight again and they've held it on the inside into top its bend. I'm to blame for that one, that's just impatience on my own part. I go to switch back and they've taken out the inner barrier. A couple of other drivers have caught up now so I backed off to let them through. They can't get past either, I'll back off further to make some space instead of trying to get past. They found it easy though, what am I doing wrong? I have no words. I still have no words. They are shown the no bumping board. I see the marshal showing the board, so I back off in case they don't make the turn. Sometimes people fixate on the board and end up going straight. That's it, I give up. I'm gonna back off and hopefully make a decent gap. The trouble is, I don't have much space behind me.
Seems I sped up again though, I'm not quite sure why. I've seen the issues the drivers ahead are having and I back off once again. And it seems this time I have a bit more of a gap behind me too. Finally though, someone has taken them out and we're through. I'm sub one minute once again, I didn't think that would actually happen in this session.
two laps to switch back to perform through there. Tidy, but I'm still not going all that quickly. The yellow flag comes out though, that's probably it for this session. Whilst it was frustrating, it does happen. It is what it is and there's nothing I can do about it. I've been unlucky with my position coming out of the pits, meaning I'm directly behind these drivers. I am the first to catch up with them and the first to try and get past them. I'm probably also being a little bit too polite and too patient. Oh well, we've got another session. I get a huge slide of understeer in turn one, but at least this car actually feels like it wants to move. I'll just need to adjust to the way it turns. It feels better turning right, perhaps one of the tyre pressures is a little lower than it ought to be. Yes, it definitely feels better turning right than it does turning left. I'll put up with it for now and I'll just make sure I mention it to a member of staff at the end of the session. They'll probably just check the tyre pressures as I just mentioned. I took turn one with a little less entry speed and it seemed to be okay. I'll need to give a little lift going into top pit spec as well. The slower of the two drivers causing me problems isn't actually on this session. The faster one though is, and I've just caught them now in that orange suit.
their lives aren't great and they could do with being a little more aware of their surroundings. They are fast though, a bit more practiced and they could be rapid. Again, this goes down to awareness of their surroundings. I was alongside for quite some time. It's not worth the fight though. This car feels like it'll be a quick one. So I've backed right off and we'll make a gap. That should be about enough, I think. I might catch cart two again, but I shouldn't catch the orange suited driver. Hopefully. That will do very nicely indeed. I could feel this cart was quick, I just needed the space to use it. Cart 2 held me up a little more than I'd have liked. I was weaving behind them so as to not catch them where I didn't want to, as I knew I'd be able to get past easily enough going into this hairpin.
that was just 8,000 slower than the previous quick lap. That's nice. And another quick one, it's just 400 slower than last time, probably because I caught a little bit sooner than I was hoping. I'll take it though. So as I say, I've caught Cart 21 again now though. I'm happy that I've done some quick laps, so I'll take another attempt at finding a way past it. The problem I have is they are slow through the low speed corners as their line isn't that great. I'm unable to capitalise on this though as I can't get out of the low speed corners as quickly as some of the lighter drivers. I managed to get a run this time and have pulled alongside of Reddy to try and outbreak them going into the hairpin. I keep checking around me to make sure that I have completed the pass. It's just a shame it's the final time to lap. And across the line for the final time evening my 57.8 second lap improved me up to fifth fastest it's not great but it's not awful considering i only had a few clear laps at full pace it was frustrating to get stuck it's something i need to learn to overcome though either backing off completely to make some space or find a way through sooner i don't like to push my way past people that are taking unusual lines so maybe i do just need to be a little bit more aggressive particularly on member sessions like this. As always though, if you've enjoyed my videos, please do give a thumbs up and leave any feedback down below in the comments. If you enjoy the content I release, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you really, really enjoy the content and want to see it a little sooner, consider joining the channel membership. You'll even get a little discount on merch too. Two new t-shirts have hit the shop ready for you to order. I don't make much on them, but it's a great way to support me. Finally, the 2024 Community Race will be held here at Team Sport Sheffield early in the new year. I'll have an announcement very, very soon. Until next time, cheers.